What's up, Cow Gang? All right, so we got this problem here. So basically, we're in an elevator, and you notice that when you step on a scale, your weight changes. And you want to find the magnitude of the elevator's acceleration due to these two different uh, weights that you have. So we're given our initial weight, just on a normal flat surface, is 683 newtons. And then in the elevator, at one situation, it's 723 newtons. And then in another situation, it's only 595 newtons. So we try to find how fast the accelerator or the elevator is accelerating during these periods to change our weight by that much. So what are we going to need? So first of all, we're going to need a mass uh, in kilograms, not just in newtons. So we know that, um, where should I write this? I'll do it over here. So we know that force of gravity, which is basically weight in this case, due to the mass times acceleration. So we know that acceleration is gravity, so it's just gravity. So if we're trying to find our mass, we're going to take force of gravity divided by gravity, and that's equal to mass. So we're given 683 newtons divided by 9.81, and that's gonna give us our mass. Uh, I should have this prepared. Of 69.6 kilograms. So that's one number that we need. Okay, so what next? So basically, how fast is it accelerating, right? Well, we know that, uh, you know, like I wrote over there, force of gravity, do a mass times acceleration. So we're looking for acceleration. So what we're trying to figure out is how much is that, that uh, force changing, right? Because on a normal surface, we weigh this much with a normal acceleration of 9.81. But if we kind of just take like change of force is equal to mass change in acceleration, right? So this acceleration right now is negative 9.81, but if you take change of acceleration, it's gonna be how far from that does it change? And then delta F is going to be how much does that change. So this is like an equation you probably don't see very often, but it's how we're going to solve this problem. So delta F, that's going to be how much we weigh in the elevator subtracted by how much we weigh outside the elevator. So it's going to be 725 newtons minus 683 newtons. That's basically telling us how much weight did we increase, right? And then our mass, of course, is uh, 69.6 kilograms. And then acceleration is just going to be A for now. So then again, so how does this calculate out? Well, you get 42 newtons is equal to 69.6 acceleration. So if you divide by that 69.6, you can get acceleration is equal to 0 0.60 meters a second squared. And that's gonna be in the upward direction, right? If you're in an elevator and you start to weigh more, like intuitively, you're gonna be going upward instead of downward. So that's how you find this part. Basically, this acceleration says that due to gravity, it's negative 9.81 downward. But in this case, the elevator is not only contradicting that negative 9.81, but going up at you know 0.68. So it's you know how that works. So part B, we're gonna do the same thing. I think that's all it needs, right? Yeah. So part B, same thing. Force equal mass times acceleration. Uh, so we're gonna take this time 595 minus 683. And that's equal to the same thing, mass, 69.6, but this time it's another acceleration. So if you do this, you're gonna get negative 88, that's equal to 69.6 acceleration. Divide over and you're gonna get acceleration is equal to negative 1.26 meters a second squared. So that negative means that we're going downward this time, which makes sense. If you get lighter in an elevator, you're probably going downward. Uh, so downward. So there you go, that's your two answers. Kind of read that. Yep, so that's how you solve this problem. Just gotta use your formula a little bit and uh, try to think about what's happening. And yeah, so good luck on your physics homework, guys. See you in the next one.